Hello, this is Hawker Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2018, also known as the Museum of You. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-2018. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. The area around SCP-2018 is to be fenced and... Security personnel are to monitor the area to prevent civilians from entering it. One D-Class personnel is to be sent inside SCP-2018-1 every month and brought back. Any experiments involving SCP-2018 and 2018-1 must be approved by at least one Level 3 researcher. Description SCP-2018 is a space-time anomaly located near redacted Australia. Said anomaly consists of a rectangular space on a wall inside a bit and a warehouse. It appears from or one hour, seven minutes, and fourteen seconds every seventy-two hours. On the other er, er, side is an alternate universe, an alternate version of the e Australian Museum, hereafter designated SCP-2018-1. SCP-2018-1 is located in the center of a floating circular landmass, approximately five kilometers in diameter. On the edge of said landmass is a brick wall measuring 6 meters in height, covering the perimeter. Beyond this wall is a sky similar to that of the baseline universe that stretches to all directions for an, an unknown distance. It is unknown how this landmass floats. The infrastructure and general architecture of SV-2018-1 are very similar to those of the Australian Museum. Several empty pedestals of varying size can be found throughout all floors. Further anomalous properties of SCP-2018-1 manifest when a living human subject enters it. After approximately 12 of minutes, objects and living beings will appear on top of the empty pedestal, along with a metal plate containing text. Said objects and living beings have been determined to be related to significant mem memories of the human subject who entered SCP-2018-1. The first floors of SCP-2018-1 usually create objects and living beings based on memories of childhood and adolescence. While they usually, while the upper floors usually create objects and living beings based on recent memories. These anomalous properties of SCP-2018-1 do not manifest if more than three human subjects enter it at the same time. It has been observed that the longer SCP-2018-1 goes without receiving any visitors, the faster its structures will over air down. It has been estimated, based on the damages suffered by SCP-2018-1 on a given period, that it would collapse if it does not receive any visitors for longer than six months. Of note is that should the visitors experience those strong emotions or their is it SCP-2018-1 will retain its current level of damage. Addendum Test Logs Forward Only the most significant results are written here. Level 2 access is required to view the unabridged logs. Fair enough. Test 1 Subject Agent Ross Result A bathtub filled with water was created. Inside the bathtub was an unconscious young human male of the same and role physical characteristics as Agent and Russ. Text Those who raise their hands to strike an innocent child do not deserve their hands. Note Agent Russ claims his older sister tried to drown him in a bathtub when he was five years old. Test 2 Agent This is a different agent I'm gonna say Camellia because I like the flower name Agent and Camellia Results An elderly Hispanic woman appeared and walked out of the pedestal and hugged Agent Camellia The elderly a woman was heard 
saying, thank you for saving me. She then returned to his pedestal and disappeared. Text. Saving someone's life is the same as saving a world. Adrian Camilla claims to have entered an elderly woman identical to that of the pedestal from being run over by a car. Test three. Thank goodness. Okay, last name. Um... Agent Jeremy. Result: A young boy, a television and set, and a and SNES video game system appeared. The young boy called out, out Agent Jeremy's name to play video games with at him. Agent Jeremy climbed on a pedestal and played video games with the boy for half an hour. No source of electricity was seen during this time. Text: Sharing is caring. It's cheesy, but true. Note. Agent Jeremy claimed that the boy on the, in the pencil was identical to one of his childhood friends who let Agent and Jeremy use his video game system because Agent Jeremy's family was too poor to buy one. Oh, wow. Test 4. Subject D2801. Results. Several police officers appeared on multiple pedestals and simultaneously, is simultaneously and started firing at D2801. Although the normal sound of pistols was being used could be heard, no projectiles were fired. Note. D2801 was put on death row for kidnapping, murder, and drug trafficking. Test 5, D-2018-02. Subject was given a limited dose of Omega-class amnestic, which completely wiped his memories for the duration of the test. Subject was also accompanied by a guard. Result. Several cats and dogs appeared on the pedestal and started rubbing themselves around the guard's legs before returning to the pedestal and returning and disappearing. Text. What did you expect? You can't make an omelette without eggs, you know. The guard has owned several pets similar to those that appeared up from the pedestal. On a redacted date, sometime after 2000, an exploration team was sent into SCP-2018-1 in to map the remaining floors of its structure. They reached a room on the top floor whose or had the message to the exploration team, please come in. Upon opening the door, they entered a large room with a table containing several types of food and drinks. On the table was an elderly, overweight a a man in a light blue suit who called out the team to eat with him. None of the agents remembered ever meeting this man. He claimed to be the consciousness of SCP-2018-1, manifesting physically. The following is a transcript of the dialogue that Agent Bob had with the man, hereafter referred to as SCP 2018 1A. Begin log. Who are you? I am the museum! Please don't be shy. Sit down and have something to eat and drink. What exactly do you mean with that? By that, I mean I am the museum's genius loci, or protective spirit. I created this man to talk with you. I haven't had visitors in months, and I thought I would collapse. But now you are sending in visitors every month, which I am very grateful for. I figured I should have a little chat with you. It's only polite as I see it. How did this museum, I mean, how did you come to be? Ah, uh, you see, I used to be the genius loci of the actual Australian museum. I was one who helped the guards protect the halls and all the attractions. When one guard was about to fall asleep during work, 
I would poke his, his mind to wake him up, and things like that. In return, I would watch visitors observe the attractions and absorb the energy of their emotions and sustain myself. I liked what I did, but as time passed, I started to wonder if I could do something other than watch people marvel at the things of the distant past, which had little relevance in the minds of many of today's visitors. And these thoughts inspired you to create this version of the museum? Correct? Being the genius loci of such a large place with frequent visitors, I had a massive store of emotional energy inside me, which I hadn't thought of using until a certain day. It was then that I decided to leave the museum and create my own. How do you know what to create in order to inspire emotions? I can read the thoughts and memories of anyone who enters the museum. Do you possess any other abilities? No sir, that is all I do. Thank you, this is enough for the interview, unless you have anything more to say. Yes. Please forgive your son. He might have disobeyed everything you ever told him not to do, but he still loves you very much, and have this as a gift. You deserve it for doing your duty so well. At this point in the interview, SCP-2018-1A 2018 one created a pug wearing a collar with the name Fred. The pug ran towards, then ran towards Agent and Bob, who shoved it away. Did you just read my mind? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to anger you, I just wanted to give you a gift. Agent Bob and the rest of the exploration team left SCP-2018-1. SCP-2018 was in lockdown to a possible information breach. I mean, but you can't just not let people go in the museum, or else... You'll lose an SCP, and the and the Foundation can't really do that if it's not a direct danger to all of humanity or whatever. Basically, the SCP Foundation does not usually destroy anomalies. Anyway, that's not important. What is important? Is the anomaly itself. SCP-2018, the Museum of You. It's an interesting idea to have a museum that just simply has um anything that will invoke a strong emotional reaction from your memories. I fear what I would see from the childhood floors. Anyway, if you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!